for The Praise Report, a media ministry of Heartland Christian Center. Many have been touched physically, spiritually, and emotionally while enjoying the program. And now, here's Pastor John. John DeLacio here. We're going to go fishing on the program today. I hope that we go catching, but we're going to attempt. And Jennifer and I are going to go to a pond that we heard about here in Florida that I've never fished before. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. But before we uh, put the rods in the car, I'll explain to you more about these kind of rods and reels in a, uh, during the broadcast. I want to show you a little bit of our house. This is Jennifer's office. She'll show you a little insert of it. Don't mind the mess. But this is where Jennifer posts uh, items on eBay. She sends the emails out. Our producer, Manny, puts the programs together and puts the CJ on there and the information on, sends it to Jennifer, and she sends the emails out to you. Now, the texts I send out personally, individually. I do not send group texts. I don't know how I'll be able, long I'll be able to do that because the list is getting longer and longer. But let's go over it. Uh, I'll, I want to take you over to my study, and on the way over there, you're seeing a little footage of our little dining room. This is a lovely home that God has blessed us with. We have the peace of God. We love our little dining room. And uh, now let me show you my study. Now you're seeing an insert here, a little something different about my awesome desk here today. Got our fishing rods that we're going to take on our fishing excursion. This is called a bait casting reel. And this is called a spinning reel. They do different things and we use them for different laws. The spinning reel, it goes on your line like this. And the bait casting reel goes on your reel more smoothly. And it's nice for fishing artificial plastic baits where it helps your line not to get all twisted and cause a bird nest. But while we're in my study here, let me uh, show you a few things I wanted to show you. This picture here was given to me uh, by a special friend. And I'm told there's only a handful of these paintings in the whole wide world. One of them was given to the Prime Minister of Israel. One of them was given to President George W. Bush. This one's given uh, to me, but you can see the eagle looking up to the dove. We see the flag, the United States flag, and the Bible. And if there's anything that we need, it's God. It's God to bless America and whatever country it is that you're picking up this broadcast also. Uh, I don't know how you could just see it a little bit with the glare. Over here I have a painting of some sailboats. I actually, <laughs> I actually like motorboats more, uh, but I liked the colors in there. The colors of that picture are so beautiful. It's really beautiful. And now you're seeing a photo of a horse with the flag in the back. That was given to me by some special friends um, from North Dakota. And they heard me that in my ministry, they know I like Ronald Reagan. They know I love horses. In fact, I used to race horses. You see an little insert there, me on a sulky, uh, winning a race. Of course, we didn't take pictures of the ones I didn't win, but I used to race horses. They know I love horses and I like Ronald Reagan. So they gave me that painting and they inscribed it on the back, very special to me. And over here in my study, I have a sculpture of John Kennedy. I was in the service and stationed in Germany at the time, patrolling the east-west German border. And I was there at the time when the Berlin Wall went up that was an exciting time for a young sergeant in the military. And uh, unfortunately, that was also when uh, President Kennedy got killed. So I love John Kennedy. And let me show you this. This here was given to me when I was preaching in Kentucky. It's a fly fisherman in a river. 
and there's a rug. And a person in the congregation was an artist and he painted on slate. He also prescribed, subscribed on the back of this. And, uh, but it was so prophetic that he didn't realize it. My Uncle Joey, you're seeing a picture of Uncle Joey, Jennifer and I with Uncle Joey. And uh, he passed away this past year. And don't make me mushy, but this reminded me, ah, I'm getting a little emotional. This reminded me of the cabin Uncle Joey had in Hackenstown, New Jersey, on the Musconetcon River. And when I was just a little kid, used to stay in that cabin, one Uncle Joey, many years ago, and he used to put me on his shoulders and walk across the river and set me on this rock. And under that rock, there was a deep hole where the fish, the trout used to hang out. And as a little kid, he sat me there, and I used to catch fish off that rock in that hole while he flied fish along the river. So, old to Uncle Joey. And a lot of memories for a lot of different places that uh, I have ministered in. That was in Corbin, Kiwi, Kentucky. That was where con the Colonel started, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Now, this painting is very special. We'll put a little insert here of uh, an inn where I went and prayed when I was in transition from a lay person into full-time ministry. And that was the place where the Lord spoke to me and told me that he had given me a ministry of restoration. This is what God said to me. Many can build, but few can restore. I have given you a ministry of restoration. So you can see a little insert now on the screen. And right there on the second floor of this building here, um, is where God spoke to me about that. An uh, inn on, uh, on a lake in Florida. All right, so we're going to get ready now. I have my tackle box. I haven't, I haven't, it's been a while since I've gone fishing. Been a real while. But when we get to the lake and I tie the lures onto the rod, I'm going to show you the kind of lure and what it's done and how to use it. And hopefully we'll catch some fish. And now my wife Jennifer is on the camera. I showed you an insert of her office. You're seeing it again. That's where she sends your emails out, the videos out to you that are on email. And she posts a lot of items on eBay. There'll be an information on the screen where you can click on to our Heartland Global shopping network eBay and you can purchase items on our network and that helps support the ministry. Jennifer's a good fisherman, too. You're seeing a little insert of us. <laughs> She's uh, making faces at me right now because she didn't know I was going to do this. This is actually maybe almost 20 years ago, hard to believe. And you see Jennifer and I would have fished back then. That's Jennifer and I holding up a fish that we caught on Strawberry Lake. You see an old insert there of Strawberry Lake. That was on a retreat that I ministered in many, 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 many times. I can't count the number of services that we had at that retreat on Strawberry Lake in Minnesota. So that lake, not only did we catch a lot of fish there, but we baptized a lot of people in that lake also that gave their heart to Jesus. Now you're seeing Jennifer inside the cabin. She's as gorgeous now as she was then. Picture's a little blurry, but she'll forgive me. And now you're seeing a picture of Jennifer taking a picture of the camera person take me taking a nap in that cabin. I was laying on the, on the couch there, taking a nap, and Becky got the camera. It's about 20-some years ago, maybe. And uh, she didn't know while she was filming me sleeping, Jennifer was taking a picture of her. Well, Becky now got four children of her own, four beautiful ones. All right, we're going to get ready now, put the rods in the car. We're going to head to the barn, and let's see what we could do. 
All right, trust you join the program and uh, keep this country in your prayers, in your country, that God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We'll talk more about this on the way to the lake. All right, we are on the way to the lake, some beautiful country here. We actually have to go through the Ocala National Forest. Here's a sign right here. Ocala National Forest, and it says Big Bass Lake. Well, but the truth is, we're not going to fish Big Bass Lake today, but we're going through the Ocala National Forest to get to our fishing hole today. Beautiful scenery. Florida is an amazing place. We got a lot of farmland, cattle, vegetables, so on and so forth. And we got a lot of beautiful lakes, and we have a lot of ocean, a lot of shoreline. So a very long, long country. Yeah, we get a little scenery here as we're going down the road. There's a place that has airboats. Beautiful, beautiful country. Well, you got to go through to get to. So let's get a little footage as we. Uh, Continue down the road here to our fishing hole. I started to say we're not fishing in the Ocala National Forest today, but we got to go through it to get to our fishing hole. So whatever your situation is in life, it's not your final destination, and you got to go through. If you're going through something right now, this is not as good as it gets, and you got to go through to get to. So I pray that God gives us and gives you the grace to go through whatever we're going through to get to uh, bigger and better. All righty. Uh, also, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you'll see a lot of fishing programs also. Fishing with the Pastor programs. Subscribe to Pastor John DeLacio uh, on YouTube. All right. We're going through to get to. Let's move on to the lake. Now we're getting ready. We're still en route, by the way, to our fishing hole that we have never fished before. Uh, we're getting ready. You're looking at the world famous St. John's River. We're going to cross the bridge that goes over the river. We're still en route to our fishing hole. And one of the, this is called the best capital of the world area. And one of the things that the St. John's River is famous for, it is one of the few rivers in the world that flow north. That's the bridge that's crossing this world famous St. John's River. All right, let's head over to the pond where we're gonna to fish today. Okay, there's the bridge across the St. John's River. There's a boat out there fishing and some fishermen along the way over here uh, fishing from the shore also. Having a good time. Nice place. Florida is an awesome place. It is really awesome. You know, all the things going on in the world right now, let's not forget God's beautiful creation, His nature. Take time to enjoy the good life. Okay, we are now in the boonies, heading down this trail between the tall trees, heading to this pond that we've heard about, and we're going to see what we can see. It's beautiful, very desolate, very quiet, very peaceful. We have arrived at the pond. I'll show you a picture of it in a minute. I have some soft plastic baits. I have some crank baits, shallow running, deep running crank baits. But right now, I'm going to start off with what is called a lipless, because it does not have a lip on it like this might have. I'll show you that a bit later. And we're going to tie it. I'll show you how I tie it on. I'm going to stand up here with you. I take the line, 
I'm going to use my glasses. And I wet the line like this. The reason I wet it is make it a little slippery. And I double. I double it. This is my, my favorite knot. I double like this. I wet it. Put it through the ring. Hope you can see that. It'll go like that. Mm. 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 Now that is my favorite knot. You see one, it slipped down there. Could have made it easier to slide without burning the line. This is a braided line, which is hard for some people to fish actually, because it doesn't have much of a stretch to it. So if you're fishing a plastic worm or something, it takes you a little use because this doesn't stretch as much, but it's the kind that I like. Now I'm going to set my drag. I want to set the drag where if a fish hits it, or when a fish hits it, it won't snap the line. Let's try it. Now if we look over here, you can see this beautiful lake. And I'm going to try to fish without catching a tree. And now there's a key to this. You can go, here, yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. All right, that was my first cast, the first time on this particular leg. If you don't succeed at first, try again. Fishy, 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 fishy. Okay. Now you can see that this lure catches things. Now what we did here is we got this, we got the salad, we got the vegetables. Now we got to catch a fish. Let me try over this way. Come on, fish. John's here. Wake up. It's exciting. While I'm fishing here, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I thought I had a bite, but it was a lily pad. S subscribe to my YouTube channel, Pastor John DeLacio. You'll find some programs on there. Fishing. And there's a series on there, a lot of ministry programs, a lot of different subjects. And there is a whole series on my YouTube channel called Things to Consider Before You Vote. Now, I am a Christian minister. I believe the Bible way is a conservative way. I caught myself. So I vote conservative. Now, I am a Christian pastor, minister, so I vote what I believe is the Bible way. And to me, the Bible way is conservative, capitalistic, 
patriotic. So when I'm going to vote, I vet the candidates and I want to know what do they believe. Uh, do they believe in abortion? Do they believe in uh, the Bible? And even if they say they do, and even if they say they're Christians, do they vote against Christian values and what we believe is godly? So you may not find a politician that is everything that you believe in, or maybe he doesn't believe or she believes everything the way you believe, but so I at the one and I vote for the one who I believe has the most biblical values. All right. Let's try again. You know, they say, if you don't succeed at first, try, try again. I say, try again. Because try, try again means ain't going to get it the next time either. Come on, fish. We got to wake you up. Nothing so far. Yes. <laughs> Come here. What do we got? What is this? We got the... Can you see that down there? We got the fish. He got off. He got off. The reason it got off is because I waited to see if the camera can get it. And I put slack in the line. And he got away. I'm not sure if that was a bass, actually. I couldn't see it with the, with the weeds on it. But it actually looked like more of a speck to me. But they say a fish is a fish, a fish, of course. Well, we had our first fish. Didn't land it, but we could have. But we didn't. Let's see if we got another one. I don't think that was a bass. I think it was a speck. But it was a fish. Let's try it again. You got to do the secret word here. It's here, yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. In the grass. This is the first time Jennifer and I is on the camera. Jennifer's on the camera. It's the first time in a long time we had a chance to come out and get some fresh air together and spend some time with you. We'll try it again. All right, what's the secret word? I do it with a high tone voice for some reason. Well, there's one, when there's one, there's more. So we're not done yet. Here he is. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? I got a small bass. How about that? Fishing with the pastor is never a disaster. How about that? Hello, little guy. I want to see if you catch your mama. First time we fished here. Go back and grow up. How about that? Fishing with the pastor brings joy that will last. Yeah, I said that for Manny. Uh, we did it, Jen. We broke the ice. Still got the touch. Let's see if we can catch one more with this law, and then we'll go from there. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I started to say, before we was rudely interrupted by that fish, that there are a series of videos on there called Things to Consider Before You Vote. There's also a series on there called The Difference Between Socialism and Capitalism. Now, I'm a capitalistic because I believe that's Bible's way. I don't believe in socialism. I don't believe that's God's way. I do not believe communism is God's way. What do I believe God's way is? 
trusting God instead of man. The Bible says, blessed is the man who puts their trust in God. And cursed is the man who puts their trust in man. God wants us to trust him. Now, today, Jennifer and I are out here. Never fished here before. A little pond. And uh, we're relaxing. But we all go through things. Things happen. They might take us by surprise. They don't take God by surprise. So we have to pray and believe and put our trust in him. I want to catch one more on this law and then we'll see what we're going to do from there. Come on. Whoop, I just had a bump right there, close to the shoreline. Sometimes you got to do a little different things with the bait. It's called enticing a strike. Here he is. All right, come on. What do I got? We got another small bass. Ah. It's a bit small one, but it's a fish. All right. Cute. Hey, if you can't catch a big one, at least you can catch a cute one. You're a cute one. We're gonna let you go back to mama. Come, go make babies. Well, John Delacio here. <laughs> My wife can't find the camera. We came from our home through the Ocala National Forest, where there's lots of good lakes and fishing. We crossed over the St. John's River where there are more good fishing called the best capital of the world. But we heard about this little pond here, never tried it, want to experiment. We caught it on a lipless crankbait. See, it rattles. That's why it's called a rattle trap. All right, don't get offended, because I call some people rattle trap. But we're out of time. Watch my videos, things to consider before you vote. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And together, we will continue to catch fish and be fishers of men. From around the pond, through the rivers, and through the big lakes, and to the other most parts of the world. All right, we love you. And uh, see you next time, right here on the Praise Report, Fishing with the Pastor.